At this point in my life, I am passionate about playing video games. And some people find that odd because I think partly because I'm a woman, partly because I'm old. But that's okay. Um, I, I don't mind defying stereotypes. But that's not why I play. I play because, first of all, because it's just so much fun. And then it has other benefits as well. For one thing, it gives an incredible workout to my brain and my reflexes. But it's also really good at connecting me to other people, to my family, uh, friends, and sometimes even complete strangers. My son is who introduced me to video games. And for Christmas of 2014, he gave me a hand-me-down Xbox and a game called Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, Dragon Age Inquisition is a single-player role-playing game. And what that means is it's just you alone against the computer. And it's like an interactive story where you're the hero. Now, my son has always been passionate about video games, so it was really important to me to try to understand what it was he enjoyed so much about them. And that's what motivated me to get through that initial period where I was going up a steep learning curve. But it didn't take long for just the pure joy of playing to take a hold of me. And I, I went through the whole Dragon Age series. Then I went to something called Mass Effect, which is like Dragon Age in space. And um, then I went on to a lot of other games. So for the first several years, I played a lot of single player games. But I, was, I never played multiplayer games. That's where you're online and you're playing with a bunch of real people. And that just really intimidated me. But one day, I was watching a TV show with my son. And in the show, the characters kept leaving to play this game called Fortnite. And so I asked him, what's Fortnite? And he said to me, well, it's a really popular game, Mom, but it's too hard for you. Well, that pretty much guaranteed I was going to try it anyway. So I downloaded it, and I started to play. And he was right. It is very hard. In a single-player game, you can pick your difficulty level, but there's no easy level when you're playing multiplayer. So um, once again, going up a very steep learning curve. And, but there was a solo mode where I could play with 99 strangers and anonymously, and I could make my mistakes there. And eventually, I got better, and I, my confidence got better. And then I started playing with my son sometimes in duos. And then I finally worked my way up to the squad mode where they will randomly fill the other three slots with random players. So you're playing with people you don't know and you've got your headset on. And apparently I don't sound like the other players because pretty early on, uh, one of the young boys on my squad said to me, how old are you? And I said, well, I told him, 63 at the time. And he was so shocked he couldn't focus on the rest of the game. So I'm there running alongside of him in the game, trying to protect him from getting you know, shot, while he's totally distracted asking me questions. So mostly now, when I play squads, I play with my son and his friends. They're used to me, um, and they're amazingly gracious about my skill level. Sometimes when I have an achievement I'm particularly proud of, I'll go into the Fortnite subreddit and I'll post about it. And every time I've done that, I've gotten an amazing amount of support back. I'll get hundreds of comments that encourage me. And the most touching of those comments are from young players who say how much they wish they had someone in their lives who loved to play games and didn't think it was a waste of time. And I, I always answer those comments. And I try to tell them one of the great things about getting to be my age is that you have a lot of free time and you're able to play fun things like Fortnite. The truth about video games is that like any great hobby, they are a flow experience. They require 100% of your attention. They take you away to another time and place. In fact, you lose track of time. But they can also be a very social experience. We live in a very mobile society, but here's a an easy, inexpensive way where you can play and laugh with friends and family no matter where they live. And young people really understand this. I see young people creating friendships that last a lifetime. And video games are an important part of that. 
Video games help them connect to one another. And I find by using them to connect to young people, it makes me feel younger too.